This is the final proof in Euclid Book 8. This is Euclid Book 8, Proposition Number 27. It is also a short proof, even though it doesn't look like a short proof. Okay. How does this one work? Similar solid numbers have to one another the ratio which a cube number has to a cube number. Let A and B be similar solid numbers. I say that A has to be the ratio which a cube number has to a cube number. For since A and B are similar solid numbers, okay, A and B here are similar solid numbers. Okay. Therefore, two mean proportional numbers fall between A and B. This is by Euclid Book 8, Proposition Number 19. Let C and D so fall. Okay. C and D are going to be mean proportional numbers that are going to fall between A and B. That's how that one's going to work. Okay. And let E, F, G, and H, the least numbers of those which have the same ratio with A, C, D, and B, and equal with them in multitude, be taken. This is by Euclid Book 7, Euclid Book 7, Proposition Number 33, and Euclid Book 8, Proposition Number 2. So, we have E, F, G, and H, okay? And it's going to be the least numbers of those which have the same ratio with A, C, D, and B, okay? E, F, G, and H, A, C, D, and B. That's how that one works. Therefore, the extremes of them, E and H, are cube. So E is a cube number, and so is H. Okay. And this is by Euclid Book 8, Proposition Number 2, Porism. And as E is to H, so as A is to B. So as E is to H, so as A is to B. Okay. Therefore, A also has to be the ratio which a cube number has to a cube number. And that is your proof. And that is the final proof of Euclid Book 8. When I get on the camera again, we will start Euclid Book 9. Stay tuned.